Fud like a day, my name is Mighty Werbal and welcome back to what should be the final episode of Danganronpa 2 and as you can see in the screen there, Junko Enoshima has finally made her triumphant return as both a character in a mobile phone and as a giant ass robot thing as well. Um, so let's just carry on and see where this despair takes us. Ooh. What's... what's going on? Am I hallucinating? I... I know anything goes here, but... but this... this is clearly not a fucking K. Oh god, what was Junko's voice again? I see, I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? She's huge. She's way too huge. Huh? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game. Nightfarella. She said it anyway. Sure, have a zoom in on that part. I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Hey, hey. Want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. I'd get fucking crushed. If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage, but... Too bad! This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either, you won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. Tcha! <laughs> so fucking hopeless! This is Monokuma's true identity? Wait, we have to deal with this thing? I'm so shocked you call me this thing. Oh, you're so mean. Um, is it just me or did her personality change? Yes, yeah, Sonya, that, that, that happens quite often. I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who easily gets bored. And that's then, and that's when Fuyuhiko would say, it's too damn soon to say you got bored, right? Wait, what? I have plenty of data on you guys. It's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. You're not bored at all. I get bored of getting bored. Jeez, even when I'm dead, I still get bored. This sucks. Even when you're dead, does that mean... Is this person's true identity? Junko! As if it could be anybody else. Are you Junko Enoshima? Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. I I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it to go so fast. I, I couldn't help it, you know. It was my first time. Gee, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And, and why is someone who died here right now? Do you guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Huh? Exuberance. We are now an AI. We have transcended humanity. What, what, AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit. You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then, someone uploaded me into this new world program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. That's insane. This insane bitch is Junko Inoshima. She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Hope's Peak Academy? The destruction of the world? The one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this bitch is doing. Even so, what am I supposed to do? Even if we know she's Junko Enoshima. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what can we do? I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So let's all be friends. Hell no. Man, they hate me. I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program, but they still hate me. Huh? Tampered with the graduation program? Remember that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happened so it's something exciting and unique, just like a game. The hell did you do? Say what now? Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. That's why I decided to resurrect them. 
This is the new graduation program I'm offering. R resurrect? Hey, are you serious? Can you really do that? No, of course you bloody can't. Uh, what? It was, uh, it was like real hard, you know? The graduation program is the core part of this game, so it was protected with a lot of encrypted codes. It took a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time my computer froze, I used it to put it in the mic <laughs> I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about that? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died can come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of the game, right? By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that? We're completely at our mercy. But if we can't progress until we answer, we have no choice but to answer. How long it took for Junko Onoshima to modify the graduation program? She said we were watching how long it took. If so, the certain place we were watching that was... Jabberwock Park. The countdown at Jabberwork Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How oh, brilliantly wrong. <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. Wrong? And what was it? How should I put this? I was just goofing around. Huh? I mean, isn't stuff you just don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? I kind of like super, kind of like superhero cosplayers or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It was just for show. In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? You know those murder mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? When I'm so over predictable crap like that, just what do you expect at this stage of the game? She's... She seriously messed up. Well, in a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever make up your own silly rules? Did you ever make up your own silly rules, like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough. Please stop. Don't be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know. Hey, enough with this pointless crap. Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's easy. It's just a game after all. Just a game? Yeah. Every and every th each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within a game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could be affect the real world. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie, the moment you feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. Fine, I won't worry about it. Hey. Who the fuck, who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know if it's really possible. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? She's saying that's how she tampered with a computer program. How are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm? What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is. Man, it's so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want to do is put this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? Uh, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course, we've been working toward that goal for like forever. Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. Plus, everyone can go back together, so there's no reason to hesitate. You were right. There's no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip, your will to live truly is ultimate. 
Wonderful. So that's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Devices? Okay, now let's stall for time with ex exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you. I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. If you don't have to say who you're talking to, it doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. It's a chump? Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we just have to press graduate, right? If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This will be the end. And our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. Then, it's safe to say that this is a good ending, right? Um... Um... I'll oh, put it this way. If I, pressed, if I don't press anything, my vote won't count. Everybody else is going to vote yes regardless. And I'll be overruled. Because it's a majority rules. If I press repeat, the exact same thing is going to happen. Everybody else is going to press graduate. And my vote is going to be overruled. Therefore, logically thinking, I just go with graduate. Because no matter what I press, everybody else is graduating. Majority rules wins. So, fuck it. Graduate. But, uh, who are you? Don't press it. This is Junko's trap. Huh? Wait. What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. It's not again. This time it's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. This guy is the real Makoto Naegi? Then this is the guy I spoke to. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but... Thanks to the virus infecting the New World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. Yeah, <laughs> so cool. I'm drooling so, so much. Did you also time my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone, and then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. Nah, I'm drooling. I can't stop my leaking. <laughs> I forgot how manic Junko was. How were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I would have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. Ugh, you always had such reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Hey, just what do you mean by trap? What is Junko's trap? It doesn't matter. We, we can finally end this, you know. If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Who? Who? Little old me. Who do we trust? If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her true. You know her goal. Yeah. Junko's goal. Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. The Despair Restoration Program. As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Well, then, everyone who died isn't going to come back to life. They're going to be taken over by Junko. What the fuck? Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from his virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying, you know. I just didn't make some things clear. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Don't mess with me. In fact, I have a lot of data for you, Hiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I could play a I could play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. 
I said, don't fucking mess with me. <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here. Junkify All Mankind? After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm going to take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. <laughs> and then, eventually there's going to be a whole lot of me's all over the world. With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land will be complete. That's Operation Junkify All Mankind in a nutshell. Ah, oh, yeah. Our dreams are expanding and anding. That messed up plan is your goal. Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No, there's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. The reason she wasn't able to do that was it because there was something she didn't do. If so, then the reason is... Uh... Mm, the rules, because... Yeah, the, that one? The school trip rules? Hmm. The other ones didn't really make sense. I got it. It's because of the school trips, you, school trips rules. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip. Jungle usurped Usami's authority as an observer and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow them. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. Rule 4. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with other students. So the rules were protecting us? Man, I was so annoyed. I had the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I couldn't, could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. So you made us kill each other because you couldn't kill us yourself. Lion, is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us? Don't fuck with me. What about our lives? Heh, <laughs> chump change. Ugh. Hi. I won't forgive you. I will never, ever fucking forgive you. So that's your trap. You tried to make us choose graduates so you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. Ow! Oh, how can you be so cruel? Because Junko Inoshima is the true, ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Mikoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal, or a set of principles, or a lifestyle, or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Inoshima. It's just my characterization. That's why I'm able to pursue, pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, when I hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly. Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one, by one by one like insects doused with bug spray. Then the best part is they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes. Ah, that memory is so beautiful. It made my brains melt. Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? Could it be? Is she talking about them right now? Uh, be the reserve course students, because they were the ones that killed themselves. Are you talking about the reserve course's mass suicide? Oh yeah, I totally forgot you're a survivor of the reserve course. By the way, I I'm sorry for your loss. Mass suicide? What's she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the reserve course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number! You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends and lovers all died at once. Nah, uh, uh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I, I do not really know what you're trying to say. Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. Your ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone is like me, like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. 
That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will activate, right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded to the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? What the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys, but it's awfully convenient for the future foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong. That's not it. But the ultimate despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the future foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it can't be helped. Can't be helped. LOL. <laughs> this is nothing to lol about. But it's so ironic. You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Even though you came all this way to win the game, even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. The goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Stop it! It was all a mistake? Was this really just a mistake? Was it a mistake to think we'd go home alive all along? What about the killings and the class trials? I'm going to have a quick drink. Don't mind me. Was this just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs killed each other off? Th that... Th this is just too... Don't give up yet. There is a way you guys can get out of here without letting Junko out. Huh? No, no. There's no way such a convenient... Huh? There is? Really? This is the first I've heard of it. First she's heard of it? Then... It's a way that even Junko doesn't know, right? The way to get out that Junko doesn't know about. It was the, um... The, uh, what's it called? The... That thing. The shutdown sequence. The wrong button. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set in the Neo World program. A hidden... Hidden Command. Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even a teacher can stop. Then that means even Junko can't stop it! Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate this shutdown. Huh? You... You know about it. M more importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? The reason the shutdown sequence can't be activated because... There's not enough people. Because there's not enough people. Ahem, pay attention class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown... Out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only 6 people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let you. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows the different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. She got her anime bad guy pose going on. You totally saw, th you totally saw that through that supposedly hidden command. No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Then try to explain. Try explaining to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe. Eh? What? I can't hear you. you got to speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. Them? Who are them? Kitty Kitty! What was her voice again? Uh, that is not something you need to take your time saying. Be back, you back! Believe? Try putting yourselves in, uh, yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Kyoko, Byakia! I knew you guys would come. Kyoko? Byakia? We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey, what's going on? 
Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages. It's like opening your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remembered. Huh? What kind of man isn't excited by big woman? Once you gain some more experience, you'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, you're alive. But you're so skinny now. I feel so bad for you. You shut up too. Um, are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and helped you recover your memories. Are the other thing not joining us? I want where's Genocide Jack? Is she gonna appear? Tragedy. If the skill killing school life is referring to that. You guys are the survivors of the killing school life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. There's three of them here now. The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Cheese, stupids, making such a suicidal move. Did you really want to see me that badly? It can't be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move is our only choice. So how about it? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Why are you crying? You guys showed up looking cool and stuff, and now all the ultimate despairs. They'll be treated like even bigger chumps. Chump, you said it again. Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her and this messed up world. And this messed up world. Hey, can I ask you something? If we do the shutdown, if we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? No need to worry, we won't let you get hurt. It's, it's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? The avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Huh? Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Oh, hold on a sec. If we go back to our original selves before we entered the program... If we're going to revert back to our original selves before we entered the program... We're going to revert back to the ultimate despairs. Does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me when you used to feel despair upon despair. No! Are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about that? I understand your concern, but this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. But we still have to fight? I, I thought we finally reached the end. Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or... Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's going to be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why I'm pretty sure you'll revert quickly back to the state you're in right now. Except for, you know, missing arms, missing eyes, missing whatever else the hell you did. Can you stop seeing, staying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like really nasty. But still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased, right? Does that mean we'll completely forget everything we did in this island? I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Meaningless? Vanish? Does that include her too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also going to forget, to forget she ever existed, right? If that happens, does it really mean that, that she, an existence confined to this world, is really going to disappear? 
She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb like Nagiro, it'll still be gone when... Please stop. Going back to reality in that condition, that's like a bad joke. We are not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We didn't know. We don't know anything about that past. Hey, why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me, people who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top, they don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view when they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation! Then what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the future foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world, whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding around? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. Reviewing? Who are you dialing, darling? What goes on? Ahem. When you guys activate the shutdown, you revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your dead friends will never be revived. And their embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the future foundation win, or will my despair win? Alright, things are starting to heat up. This isn't a game, you know. Au contraire, this is a game. A game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That, explaining, that explains why these chumps who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You called us chumps again. Only because it's true. Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Huh? There was more important goal here. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, uh, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? A question? As long as we're in the game world, I will say I gotta ask questions every now and again. So, question. Who did I lure, and how did I do it? The hint? I get bored easily, so the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. The same outcome as the killing school life. Do I just have to remember what occurred there? The people Junko lured in, the method. I should try connecting those dots, there should be an answer there. What's happening? Logic die, we're going surfing again. All right, time to speed this motherfucker up. Let's go. So what does that mean then? What does that mean? I got it. You used the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous Killing School Life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. 
It sure was. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding. I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation. What, what should I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. You sure did. I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. So you guys were watching us. Then why didn't you come to rescue us earlier? We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting the power to the program, but we didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again until it was finally possible for us to enter the program. Just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You just couldn't leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, I hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, I'm definitely going to stop it this time, right? Hey, don't tell me... That's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made it for you we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game of instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation. That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I used to catch the big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, please. That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. Huh? You guys chose to be the instigators, and you were willingly taken to the Neo World program to provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was to set up was set up by the group itself. Th that's just your imagination. Ah, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Well, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set us up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this. Thank you. It's all thanks to you guys. This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate. Well, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are going to be trapped here forever. Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule. <clears throat> there are two options. Graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one is the majority will be considered your final decision. But that's not all right. In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is the teacher's this final decision. As I recall, we also needed the teacher's final decision. To participate in the graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know. What? Does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? After the vote, I am going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Obviously, there's no way I'd let members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless psych life of repeating the grade. Hmm, that's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that all too well. I mean, she's been badmouthing us the whole time. Oh? 
Looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth of comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down just because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking your little showdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who are forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being the ultimate despair. That is... well... Junko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. Yes! I, I was totally waiting for a pr protagonistic line like that when I crush you with despair. Such ecstasy. No matter what you do to me, I will never fall into despair. <laughs> ah, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's going to make you fall into despair. That's the mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. M mastermind? Mastermind? Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just... A bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. But I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamukura. Izuru Kamukura? That name. I've heard it before. The person was called the ultimate hope. But that shouldn't be all he was. That's right. I've seen a person called Izuru Kamakura somewhere else. As I recall, that person was... He was the founder of the Academy. Izuru Kamakura. Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? That amazing haircut. It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamukura, if I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the ultimate hope, right? Hmm? Is that... Does the founder have the same name as the ultimate hope guy? Is that kind of coincidence even possible? The Future Foundation might know something, right? How about it, Kyoko? Even with Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamukura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that, the matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide its existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. You sure did. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope Peak's Academy, biggest, most awful event. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Oshima killed them. Don't say such cruel things. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't that right, Hajime? Huh? What? I am... Um, what? Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. 